Are you excited about peace? I cannot hear you. Are you excited about peace? I came here to share a dream with you. But before I begin, because you're young people, do you want to hear about a small dream or a big dream? How big a dream do you want to hear about? <laughs> Ooh, this young person said, as big as the universe. I like this crowd. Because although I might be in my middle ages, I still feel like that 17-year-old young person that had the whole world ahead of him and was willing to put my neck out on the line to chase a dream that is the greatest dream of all. And that dream was to build one family under God. Now, why is that the greatest dream of all? Well, let us be philosophical in terms of analyzing human history. Today, in the 21st century, we have received a tremendous blessing and grace that we know what freedom and we know what human rights looks like. But throughout the vast course of human history, humanity never understood or realized those ideals. Those ideals came to fruition because a nation was formed that championed those ideals, not only the 20th century, but well into the 21st. You know, I was born in Korea, right after the Korean War. I remember growing up in poverty where we, to only have the ability to eat any kind of protein was a luxury that only a few families could share. Yet, in such a short period of time, the world has changed Today, you have young people from Korea igniting the world K-pop and Hallyu. Who's to say in 20 or 30 years from now that there will be Filipinos that will be inspiring the world with a vision of one family under God? That is why I am planting the seeds in you, young people. I want you to dream, and I want you to dream the greatest dream of all. You know, many times I say, the quote of Chinggis Khan where he said, if one person has a dream, it is but a dream. But if all of humanity shares in that dream, that dream becomes a reality. Now, as I said, the concept of freedom and rights is a new modern phenomenon. Where did it begin? As a student of history, let me share with you where those ideas arose through the Enlightenment and eventually culminated with the ideas that formed the United States of America. The most important document of that nation is the Declaration of Independence. And many times, in speeches all around the world, I share how significant this document is. Even though many Americans today talk about the constitutions and the Bill of Rights, I believe that the most significant document, not only for the nation of America, but for humanity itself, is in the Declaration, especially the second paragraph of that Declaration, where it's stated that it is the Creator, meaning God, that gives us our sacred fundamental freedoms and human rights. The right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These immortal words, words etched in this immortal document is the basis upon which we today recognize and celebrate 
although imperfectly in many nations, but celebrate the ideals of freedom and fundamental human rights. So we must ask ourselves, especially the backdrop of the world in which we live today, where you have status nations in the rise that basically are bridging those very freedoms and rights, even of their own citizens. We have to ask ourselves the question, where do these rights come from? It comes from the sovereignty of God. It comes from the fact that God, from the very beginning of human history, had bestowed upon humanity a special gift, a gift to co-create with him an ideal world and kingdom where he can dwell within the human family. Once we align to that original ideal purpose, then all the blessings, regardless of your religious traditions, that God wanted to give to humanity beyond all of our pretensions, whether they be religious, national, ethnic, or racial, as one family under God, we could celebrate the blessings that he wanted to bestow upon us Ah, ah, <laughs> you know, I love coming to the Philippines because I love you young people. Unfortunately, many, many people in the developed world forgot the importance of family and young people. I have to come to the developing South, the Southern Hemisphere, to find you young people. For you, if you are inspired to dream and be an owner of a dream, within one generation can bring about fundamental change, not only within your nation, but within the region and the world. Do you want to do that, yes or no? Do you want to do that, yes or no? Do you want to be the owners of one family to God? Yes or no? Ooh. So, I'm going to see how much you want to be an owner, okay? We're going to split the crowd, Le left and right. Now, if I point to this side, I want you to say Aju as loud as you can. Because remember, Aju means I will take ownership. It's a Korean term that my father had created to say, I will take ownership. I will become the owner. Now, let's see. Who has greater ownership? We have to have a good competition going, do we not? Mm, I don't know. I need more excitement. I need more excitement. Now, I know that, I know that many, many, many Filipinos are well behaved, but today I give you special permission to be as wild as you want. So, I don't only want you to say adieu to the top of your voice, but I want you to stand on your chairs and move and get one. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. You're jumping the gun now. It's only when I point at you, okay? So let's do it. Let's try it one more time. Ooh. Okay, now. My goodness. Can you beat that? You can beat that? All right. Oh my goodness. Now, can you stand that? Can you beat that? Oh my goodness. What about here? What about here? What about here? Oh my goodness. You know, we have a lot of VIPs in the room today. We have a lot of VIPs in the room today. And unfortunately, when you are a VIP, you are an elder person. You've lived your life and you've had many setbacks. And all of a sudden, your ability to dream becomes less and less and less and less. 
shall we show our VIPs that we will be the owners of one family under God and we will create a tsunami here in this nation of Philippines that will resonate around all of Asia and then the world and bring peace on earth. Adieu! So let's try that again. When I point to you, I want you to become as crazy as you can and say adieu. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. As we stand in this beautiful valley, in the eyes of God, in this sacred land of the Philippines, the archipelago of Asia, we are bringing birth to a vision of hope rooted in the dream of one family under God. And every single one of you being the owners of that dream can be like the dandelions that spread across this land, spread across uh, this oceanic Pacific area into Asia and the rest of the world. Do you have that confidence, yes or no? Now, do you want me to share with you the great work that we're doing in Korea that might bring K-pop to the Philippines? Before, before I came here to the Philippines, I had a huge, huge monumental event in Korea where heads of a thousand most prestigious NGOs rose up together, gathered in 20,000, filling the largest indoor uh, arena in Korea. And there, they pledged to take ownership of the Korean dream rooted in the vision of one family under God. To unite the Korean Peninsula and to do what every major power could not do. Inspiring the people themselves. Not the government, not the presidents, but the people to rise up. Sharing the greatest dream of all. One family under God. The Korean dream to unite the Korean Peninsula based upon the destiny of the Korean people rooted in our providential founding of Hongi Kingan, which basically directed the Korean people to create an ideal nation that can be a benefit to all mankind. I look at that as being creating a nation that can be, be able to bring peace to all of the world. There. Over the next three years, we've made the determination, all those leaders that were gathered there, we made the determination that we will mobilize within three years' time. Because in 2025, that ear, earmarks the 80th anniversary of Liberation Day, the end of World War II. Within three years' time, we are going to mobilize tens of millions of Koreans based on the Korean dream based on the providential mandate rooted in Honging Gun, based on the greatest dream of all of building one family under God, rise up to take charge of the peninsula and the future of the Korean people and unite the peninsula bringing peace to that troubled land. Adieu! Well, all of us made that pledge. We are willing to give our necks put our necks on the line to realize that vision. Well, I knew that after I was able to move those Korean leaders, I had to come here to the Philippines. Why? Because Korea and the Philippines have a shared destiny. Korea is a peninsular nation. Philippines is an island nation. Korea and Philippines are two Christian nations at the gateway to Asia. It basically is, ties this region to the west and to the east, to the new and to the old. So what happens here in Korea and the Philippines 
will move not only Oceania, but all of Asia. So do you want to stand with the Korean people? Do you want to stand for the, with the Korean people based upon the Korean dream and help unify the Korean Peninsula? Yes or no? So if we have tens of thousands, tens of millions of Koreans on the streets of Korea seeking, demanding unification based upon the Korean dream, can you as young people motivate other young people in this nation to stand with them? Yes or no? I can't hear you. Yes or no? So let us do that competition once again. Let us see who is more crazy. Who is going to be willing to put their neck out on line more in order to make that happen? Right or left? Right. Oh, you lost your energy. Left. Ooh. I'm going to give the right another chance. Right. Ooh. Like I said, I might be a middle-aged man, but I'm still a 17-year-old inside. And you don't know how much I want to be in those seats with you, yelling and screaming with you, being an owner with you, being inspired with you to, to basically bring about a new world through this vision of one family under God. May God bless you and your families. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben.